try to find you a water supply back there in the Alpha. I need to be behind rescue too. 21 apartments, Ocean Creek Resort near North Myrtle Beach, Friday night. There's sparks and red things flying and going, wait a minute, that's my room. La Casina Mexican Restaurant, Myrtle Beach, Saturday night. RV trailer fire, Myrtle's Inlet, Sunday. Coral Sands, Sunday night. And I was smelling smoke and I started trying to look for it. Four fires, three days, all different locations, all under investigation. I feel as if you are a extreme danger to the community. One, ending with charges filed. Arson charges. Those are what James Rusenko is facing after warrants show he set his curtains on fire, destroying 21 apartments near North Myrtle Beach. As you just saw, firefighters had an intense and very busy weekend. Yeah, of course, they weren't the only first responders keeping busy. The American Red Cross was right behind them at every fire in our area this weekend. Yeah, they are there to help victims and firefighters. ABC 15 Taggart Hawk is live tonight in Horry County. Outside that first fire from Friday night, Taggart, this weekend was really tough for the Red Cross, too. Yeah, Summer and Trey, really tough weekend. You said it just there. Red Cross responders arriving here late Friday night, not long after those firefighters staying into the early morning and then coming back again later in the day. Now, most of them are volunteers, but they can all tell you one thing, and that is that this is a busy season. The American Red Cross of Eastern South Carolina has more than 500 volunteers, but 60 of them are actually trained to respond to these fires, and they respond anywhere from Myrtle Beach to Chesterfield. They were on scene for a handful of fires in our area this weekend alone. Now, Roger Keeley has been a volunteer on the disaster relief team for more than a year. He says December through March, they are simply the busiest months for fire response. That's when he keeps his phone close by. You kind of have to mentally prepare yourself for that. Then you also have to kind of plan on it, anticipate getting that call in the middle of the night. But they definitely... Keeley was one of eight volunteers who responded to the fire at Ocean Creek Resort Friday. The executive director of the Eastern South Carolina chapter says she has lots of help, but weekends like this remind her that you can never have enough. Coming up on ABC 15 News at 6, we'll show you how many fires they respond to and how much it costs to help a family in need. Live in Horry County, Taggart Hauk, ABC 15 News. Taggart, thank you. We'll have information on how you can volunteer on our website. Just go to WPDE.com.